Hey guys welcome back to another episode of Ashfak Art. Today we will be creating a logo. Don't forget to leave a like subscribe and ask me anything in the comment box. Ok let's get into it. For visible the grids we will go to view. And click on show grid. Or press ctrl or command and double quote to show the grids. Then activate the ellipse tool. And draw a circle. For copy the circle shape go to edit and click on copy. Again go to edit and now click on paste in front. and place it in the center of first circle now activate the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle shape in the center with selection tool select rectangle shape and hold shift click on circle to select both shapes click on horizontal align left drag rectangle from bottom a little For copy a rectangle shape hold alt or option and drag rectangle. Go to view, click on outline or, press ctrl or command and y to show the outlines. Make thinner second rectangle shape. And drag it from top to bottom side. Then again make a copy of rectangle shape, hold alt, or option and drag rectangle. Rotate that rectangle shape to 90 degree angle. Place it on the top of small circle. Again hold alt or option and drag rectangle to make a copy. Take a ellipse tool. And draw a small circle, place that small circle on top left corner of first rectangle. Copy the small circle, hold alt shift or, option command, and drag cycle to the bottom, it will snap automatically on the right place. Select all shapes with selection tool. Make a copy of all shapes. Go to view and turn off outline mood. And hide grids. Select the all shapes of first design. And take shape builder tool. Hold alt or option and click on unwanted shapes. It will be subtract. Like that. Now without holding any key, just drag shape builder tool on shapes which you want to unite. Like that. It will be unite in one shape.
Now select second design shapes with selection tool. And again activate shape builder tool. As earlier. For subtract the shape. Hold alt or option drag on unwanted shape. For unite the shape. Without holding any key drag on shapes. Select second design with selection tool. Go to Pathfinder palette. If you can't see it, go to Windows and click on it. Now click on Divide icon. And ungroup it. Now select the larger one shape. Go to edit and copy it. Again go to edit and click copy front. Hold alt shift or option command key. And increase the size a little. Select all shapes. Active Shape Builder tool and delete unnecessary shapes. Go to the Layers palette. Delete the layer that we duplicate earlier. Select the upper shape of the logo. With eyedropper tool select color for fill. Hide the stroke. Same do here. Select larger shape. Take eyedropper tool click on color to fill. And hide the stroke. Select P logo fill with white color. Hide the stroke. Select D logo and group it. Select both designs. Click on horizontal align center icon. Select D logo and send it to back. Now increase the size of D logo. Select rectangle tool. Make a rectangle as the document size. Fill it with gray color. Go to arrange send it to back. Go to object and lock it. Thank you for watching the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the video, stay tuned for the next tutorials. See you in the next video.